Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we will be solving one very very interesting and challenging quartic equation 3x square minus x minus 4 times 3x square plus 5x minus 2 equal to 30. So let's get started. This time I will multiply these two brackets. So let's multiply. I will write 3x square times the second bracket 3x square plus 5x minus 2. Then we have minus x. Again I will write the second bracket 3x square plus 5x minus 2. Then we have minus 4. I will write 3x square plus 5x minus 2 equal to 30. Let's multiply 3x square with 3x square. So I can write here 9x power 4. Then 3x square with 5x I will get 15x cube. Then 3x square with negative 2 I will get minus 6x square. Similarly minus x with 3x square we will be getting minus 3x cube which we will write here under x cube column minus x times 5x we will get minus 5x square minus x times minus 2 we will write plus 2x Similarly, minus 4 will be multiplied with 3x square. We will get minus 12x square, which we will be writing here. Minus 4 times plus 5x, we will get minus 20x, which we will write here. And minus 4 times minus 2 plus 8, right hand side is 30. Now we will add. We will get 9x power 4 plus 15 minus 3 is 12. So 12 x cube minus 6 minus 5 minus 12 minus 11 minus 12 minus 23 x square plus 2 minus 20 minus 18 x plus 8 equal to 30. Now subtract 8 from both sides. We will get quartic equation 9x power 4 plus 12x cube minus 23x square minus 18x equal to 30 minus 8 is 22. So we have to solve this quartic equation. Let me write our equation once. Here it is. Now we have to solve this quartic equation. We can see this is 9x power 4. We can write this is 3x square whole square. Then 12x cube is there which we can write plus 2 times our bracket 3x square. So I need to multiply this product. This is 6x square. So I need to multiply with 2x. To get this term 12x cube. Now 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. x square times x is x cube. What I did here, I have multiplied this term. If you can see 2 times a times b, 2x. So I need to consider the square of this. So I will write here 4x square. So additional term is 4x square. I have to compensate this. So I will write minus 4x square minus 23x square minus 18x equal to 22. Now from first three terms from these three we can write this is one formula a square plus b square and middle term is 2 times a b. So instead of this we can write a plus b whole square. 
So I can write our quartic equation as 3x square plus 2x whole square. And remaining term would be minus 4x square minus 23x square will be minus 27x square minus 18x equal to 22. Now I can take minus 9 common from these two terms. Let's take common. 3x square plus 2x whole square minus 9 is common. In the bracket we will get 3x square plus 2x equal to 22. Now we will consider 3x square plus 2x equal to a. So we can write our quadratic equation. This will be a square minus 9a equal to 22. Our substitution is 3x square plus 2x equal to a. Let me write this quadratic here. Take all the terms to one side. a square minus 9a minus 22 equal to 0. We can use method of factorization. I can write a square as it is minus 9a will be minus 11a plus 2a. So overall it is minus 9a minus 22 equal to 0. Now from first two terms we can take a common out. So in the bracket we will have a minus 11. From last two terms we can take plus 2 common out. So in the bracket I will get a minus 11 equal to 0. So a minus 11 is overall common. In other bracket we will be getting a plus 2 equal to 0. From product 0 rule we can write now a minus 11 this will be 0 or a plus 2 will be equal to 0. So from first equation I can get a equal to 11. From second equation we will be having a negative 2. Now a was our substitution if I will write 3x square plus 2x. So we can frame two quadratic equations. Let me write here a equal to 11 first. So I will write 3x square plus 2x equal to 11 or I can write 3x square plus 2x minus 11 equal to 0. Now we will use quadratic formula if I will write x will be equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2 times a. As per our equation I can write the values of a, b and c. a will be coefficient of x square 3, b will be coefficient of x 2, c is constant negative 11. Let's apply all the values. x will come out minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 3 times negative 11 over 2 times 3. This will be equal to minus 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 12 times 11. This will be plus 132 minus times minus becomes plus over 6. So minus 2 plus minus is square root 136 over 6. Minus 2 plus minus is square root 136 over 6. We can write minus 2 plus minus the square root of 136 we can write 4 times 34. 
Now this 4 will come out from this square root as 2. So we'll be getting minus 2 plus minus 2 times square root 34 over 6. Now we can take 2 common from the numerator. We'll be having minus 1 plus minus square root 34 over 6. So our denominator will come out 3. So we are getting two real solutions. Minus 1 plus minus square root 34 over 3. Now we have to solve second equation. A was negative 2. And A was our substitution also 3x square plus 2x equal to negative 2. Take all the terms to LHS, 3x square plus 2x plus 2 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. As per formula, a is 3, b is coefficient of x 2, c is constant 2. So we will be getting x as minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square minus 4 times 3 times 2 over 2 times 3 which will be equal to minus 2 plus minus the square root of 4 minus 24 over 6 or I can write minus 2 plus minus the square root of negative 20 over 6. Now we know that square root of minus 1 is complex number i. So I can write minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 1 times square root of 20 over 6. This will be equal to minus 2 plus minus i. Square root 20, we can write 4 times 5. Now this 4 will come out from this square root as 2 and denominator is 6. So minus 2 plus minus i times 2 square root 5 over 6. Let's take 2 common from the numerator we will get minus 1 plus minus i square root 5 over 6. Now we can cancel denominator 6 with numerator 2. We will get denominator 3. So here we are getting two complex solutions. Minus 1 plus minus i square root 5 over 3. So two solutions are real and two are complex. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe our channel. Bye bye till next video. Take care.